Welcome to Chillin' 101. We hope this video helps. In this video, I will show you how to play Genshin Impact on Android with a keyboard and mouse. First, ensure your Android device supports USB on the go or OTC for wired connections or has Bluetooth for wireless peripherals. You will need a USB-C hub if using wired devices or simply pair your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. This setup offers a more traditional PC-like gaming experience enhancing precision and control for your adventures in Tavat. Connecting your keyboard and mouse is straightforward. For wired peripherals, simply plug them into a USB-C hub or an OTG adapter connected to your Android device. If you prefer wireless, navigate to your Android's Bluetooth settings, turn on Bluetooth, and pair your keyboard and mouse. Make sure both devices are discoverable. This step is crucial for establishing the physical connection before we move on to software configuration. Next, you'll need a key mapping application. Search the Google Play Store for a reliable option, such as Panda Gamepad Pro or Octopus. Once installed, open the app and grant it all required permissions, including accessibility services, which are essential for it to overlay controls. Then, add Genshin Impact to the key mapper's list of games. This software acts as the bridge, translating your keyboard and mouse inputs into touch commands for the game. Now for the fun part, configuring your controls. Within the key mapping app, you'll see an overlay of virtual buttons. Drag these buttons to match Genshin Impact's on-screen controls, like movement, attack, and elemental skills. Then, assign your desired keyboard keys or mouse clicks to each virtual button. Save your profile, launch Genshin Impact through the key mapper, and test your new setup. You can fine-tune sensitivity and button placement for a truly personalized gaming experience. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if we helped you.